Hi learning friends, today, we're on to uncovering an iguanodon. Iguanodon means iguana tooth. It was given this name because its teeth looked like those of a modern iguana lizard, except they were much larger. This was the largest of the iguanodontid dinosaurs and grew to be about 10 meters long. How did it move about? Scientists have studied many sets of footprints belonging to the iguanodon, and believe that it usually used all four feet to get around. It probably had thick back legs and a pair of thin, light legs at the front. Rearing up on its back legs would have made it over five meters in height. This would have been an effective way of escaping from a predator's grasp. Its middle three fingers were joined together, but its little finger could move freely to grasp food. What was found at Bernisart? In 1878, men working at a coal mine over 300 meters underground at Bernisart in Belgium found over 30 skeletons of iguanodon mixed in with the coal. This was the first time that a complete dinosaur skeleton had been found. What was its thumb spike used for? The iguanodon thumb was equipped with a short, very sharp spike of bone. Iguanodon may have used this impressive weapon to defend itself, by stabbing an attacker and inflicting a nasty the iguanodon's wound. It might also have been used to find any heavy body. When and where did Iguanodon exist? Iguanodon lived about 120 million years ago near the beginning of the Cretaceous period. They mainly lived in Western Europe and North America, but Iguanodon fossils have also been found in parts of Asia and Britain, and it is known that very similar animals lived in Africa and Australia. Iguanodon was the very first dinosaur to be discovered. Some fossilized teeth were found in Sussex by Dr. Gideon Mantell in 1822. Mantell did not know what sort of animal the teeth came from, but he knew that they looked like teeth from the lizard iguana. Mantell thought Iguanodon must be a large, four-footed lizard. How did Iguanodon chew its food? Iguanodon had no teeth at the front of its mouth, but had serrated edged teeth towards the back. Its jaws could slide sideways in the skull. This meant that every time Iguanodon closed its mouth, its teeth would grind up anything caught between them. Being able to grind food into tiny pieces made it easier to swallow and digest. At first, scientists thought that all dinosaurs had mouths that opened all the way to the back of the jaw. Later, they realized that Iguanodon had specially adapted cheek muscles, which meant it could hold food in its cheeks, ready to grind up. How large was Iguanodon? Iguanodon was about 10 meters long and could rear up on its back legs to over 5 meters in height. It stood just under 3 meters tall at the hips and may have weighed as much as 5 tons. That's all for today's Dinosaur Facts. See you again next time.